Numbers four, five, six, and seven operating the jacks lower the trails until the spades are seated in their pits. When the trails have been lowered, the jacks, blocks, and jack beam are removed. The chief of section, assisted by the gunner, marks out the recoil pit. This pit is necessary to prevent the breech from striking the ground when the piece is fired with an elevation greater than 300 mils. As soon as the recoil pit is dug, the gunner places a block of wood to serve as a platform on which to stand while sighting. The chief of section then commands... Prepare for action! The gunner places the panoramic telescope in position on the quadrant site. He tests the traversing and elevating mechanisms and levels the cross level. At the equipment chest, number one places in a small box the lanyard, the vent cleaning bit, the primer seat drill, the oiler and some waste. And number two puts the spare firing mechanism and the firing mechanism removing tools in the box and takes the box and places it inside and near the right trail. Number one unlocks the percussion hammer lock bolt. Then number two removes the firing mechanism and cleans and oils it. After the removal of the firing mechanism, number one opens the breech, inspects the breech block, the primer vent, the breech recess, and gas check pad. The counterbalance is also checked and any necessary adjustments are made. The breech is then left open. Number four measures the position of the replenisher piston, cleans the replenisher piston guide, Two holes in the center of the spanner wrench hole. And the three millimeter hole on the underside of the replenisher. He then measures the oil index in the rear of the counter recoil cylinder. These measurements must be checked after every tenth round of fire. Numbers five and six place a tub of water near the left trail spade. Number three places the sponge and stamp on the edge of the tub. 
and also places the rammer and staff at the end of the left trail number three then inspects the bore and powder chamber which he carefully sponges Before firing, the sights are checked for adjustment. A testing target is provided for this purpose. The target is set up at least 50 yards in front of the piece and breech and muzzle bore sights are installed. Through the bore sight, we sight on this portion of the target. And with the panoramic telescope, we sight on this portion of the target. The telescope scales will read zero if the sight is in adjustment. Supervised by the ammunition corporal, Number eight opens the fuse boxes. And checks the fuses. This is the M46 or quick fuse. Fuses, primers and projectiles should be kept well separated when the ammunition is placed around the gun position. This is the M47 or delay fuse. Numbers 9 and 10 open several powder containers so that the powder may be removed quickly. Numbers 11 and 12 clean and inspect the projectiles. They check the rotating bands for burrs, filing them off if necessary. The piece is laid for direction by the executive using an aiming circle. Aiming point this instrument! Aiming point identified, sir. Deflection number one, seven, zero, seven, zero. The piece being laid, the executive commands. Aim and put, aim and sticks, refer. The gunner refers his panoramic telescope sight to a convenient deflection to the left and rear. And number four sets up the aiming stakes as lined in by the gunner. The far stake is set up first, at least a hundred yards from the piece. The near stake is set up at midpoint between the far stake and the piece. The chief of section makes his final inspection of materiel before firing. He checks to make certain that the recoil and counter recoil systems contain the proper amount of oil and that all cannoneers have completed their duties. He then reports to the executive that his section is ready to fire. Cannoneers! Section in order, sir! 